Now I'm sure that you've already heard about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wanting to become financially independent. They're thinking about moving to Canada and some other location, which is really not important. But it appears that they want to get out of the public eye. They want to be independent from the royal family. But can Harry really run from royalty? That was his upbringing. And in my humble opinion, that is not the mindset of a man. That's not the mindset of a man that came up in the environment and family that Harry came up in. Of course, is gonna always be that rebellious child. But at the end of the day, he belongs to the royal family. So he really technically cannot be financially independent. That reminds me of coming to America. Remember Eddie Murphy coming to America? He wanted to be independent. He wanted to go soil his royal oaks, as his father said. He wanted to come to America to find his bride in Queens, New York. But at the end of the day, he was still royalty. He still belonged to that royal family. Again, in my humble opinion, financial independence from your royal family is not the mindset of a man. However, that sounds like the mindset of a woman. Now, there's a lot of memes that circulating around the internet. And a lot of the jokes are coming from black women because women know the work of black women. You know the meme that's talking about how the black woman um, is making him leave his grandmother's house, something to that effect. Well, they're laughing because of the fact that whenever a man has a strong family tie, in spite of what may happen in that family, families are gonna fight family members. There's gonna always be tox toxic toxicity, if that's pronounced wrong, in families. There's gonna be drama in family. But at the end of the day, it's family. And, and sometimes it's good to have those toxic family members. Yes, you don't get along with them. You don't like being around them. They don't like being around you. Uh, they're always creating some type of drama. You know, uh, they carry bad energy with them. And sometimes you just keep your distance. They say distance make the heart grow fonder. But at the end of the day, they're still family members. Now the toxic family members I always have the good, always good to have in the background because you may run into some drama by or with outside forces. When you call upon the toxic family members, they will be front line, ready to throw joints. They're ready to lose their life in defense of you because you my family, you my cousin, you my brother, you my sister, you my aunt, your family. So when black women see that a man has strong family ties, in many cases they try to destroy that family tie because once they're able to separate you from your family, especially if your family members have a great influence on you. Because family members can sometimes see things that you can't, especially when you're dealing with outsiders. 
So Prince Harry marries an outsider, someone that did not come from royalty, someone that grew up in California. And if you look at the condition, the mindset of California versus the mindset of people from England or the royal family is completely different. The mindset of the women are different. Of course, they're human beings, but they're different. The mindset of the men are different. They're men, they're human beings, but they're different because they grew up in a total, uh, what's the term? They grew up in a different environment, a different culture, right? They have a different type of awareness that you really can't put your finger on, but when you speak to them, you know that there's something different outside of their accent. So Harry's got a family that's paying attention. The media is paying attention. So Megan really can't do what she want to do without bringing attention to herself. We see that in paternity court. And I mentioned this in videos of the past where you have this dude to get with this chick. The dude may have some type, have a decent job or he may appear to be a good dude. Different than what the females are used to dealing with. So now she wants to pin a baby on him. But then you have maybe his sisters, or he may be tight with his mother, or tight with a cousin, that see the game that this female is trying to play. So she's always in his ear, telling him that that is not your baby, the baby don't look like you, she cheated on you, I saw her flirting with another dude, and so now what this female has to do is kind of play chess a little bit. She has to try to kill the pawns or the rooks or the bishops. She has to try to bring division between him and his family. And a lot of females do that with guys by bringing manhood into it. You're not man enough. You're still living in the house with your mama. Uh, you, you know, I married you, not your mama. I slept with you, not your mama. Why are you allowing your mama to control, you know, every aspect of your life? Or in this case, your grandma. You supposed to be the man. When are you going to take charge of your own life? When are you going to become financially independent? I don't always want to be in the house of your grandmother, right? And this is the mindset of a lot of black females. I'm sure there's white women or other women that think the same way. But in my mind, you're the outsider. You're the one that was welcomed or partially welcomed into this royal family. So now that you're in, and now that you conceived a child, now you wanna come in and change things. Now you're coming in with that bad energy, that California energy, that Americanized energy, and causing disruption in this family. Yes, Prince Harry may be a radical, but at the same time, he's still royalty. He come from a royal family. She did not come from a royal family. So, this is the mindset of Meghan Markle. She's the one that want to separate him from his family. And once she succeed in separating him from his family, then you're gonna start seeing things where she's gonna destroy him. He's on the road of destruction and don't realize it. She in a way, he's got a battery in his back. She's controlling his thinking. 
She wants to become financially independent so that she can always point fingers and say you're not man enough to stand on your own without having to depend upon your grandma. So in order, and this is the case with a lot of men, a lot of black men, where the females see that you have a strong family. And I grew up in a, in a, in a time where Women always talked about, you could tell how a man would treat his woman by the way he treats his mom. So now you have a lot of dudes that are close to their moms. And there's a lot of females that don't like that. They want this man all to themselves to control and manipulate him. It would be so much easier to pin another man's baby on this dude that is separated from his family, that don't have his family whispering in his ears, telling your secrets. So once you're able to turn that man away from his family, his bloodline, then you're able to destroy him. And I think this is a move of Meghan Markle where she wants to control. She's got a Californian, an Americanized, a uh, Me Too movement type of mentality. And she's easing that into her royal marriage, being financially independent, independent away from his family so that we can have our own house and I want to be able to live on a house on a beach and I want this and this is what I want and I want this I don't want to stay in a highly protected royal palace I don't want to be a princess or a queen or whatever they call it I want to control our destiny and then when things don't go right, she would either cheat on him, have an affair. And now he's separated from his family. And now he has to try to retie those family ties that he left, that he allowed her to manipulate him and tear him apart from. She's trying to take him from his safe zone. His royalty is his safe zone. And once this Americanized California mindset female is able to pull him away from his safe zone, then she's able to do what she want with him and eventually will end up destroying him. And I'm gonna end on this note. And this is a warning to a lot of white men and men of other races that, and a lot of white men have learned over the course of time from dealing with black women. But at one time you had the mindset that black men were just no good. Black men run from their responsibilities. And there are black men that do that. There's white men that do that. I know white men that run from their responsibilities that leave their white women, single parent mothers. I know Middle Eastern and Arab dudes, Puerto Rican dudes that left their wives or their baby mamas fatherless, right? So they left the single parent moms. So that's any race. But white men had this arrogant attitude that they were so much better than black men and they can treat black women a lot better than black men because black women would manipulate them like Prince Harry is being manipulated. They would manip manipulate these white men and would let these white men think like, oh, you're the best I've ever had. I've never been treated with so much respect. I love the way you talk to me. You take time and you make love to me. You make me feel like a real woman. So she's pumping him up. And now he's walking around thinking, I got me a black woman. I can treat a black woman better than you. Black man can treat your woman. So you're a deadbeat. But then after being with her for a while, he start taking the same mindset 
that many black men take. As a matter of fact, a lot of his true feelings come out and he end up calling her outside of her name, racial names. And now she's laughed at and I've heard so many black females still try to justify when mistreated, badly mistreated by a white dude. But he's really a good man. He just had a moment, he's just going through a lot of stress. But you had that black man that treated you a lot better and he was no good, he was a deadbeat. And you told him very uh, sternly, I don't date black men anymore. I like white men, which is your preference. But there are so many white men now that are catching on and learning what black men have always known. Because you have to question and wonder, why is this such a large exodus of black men running from black women? What's creating that exodus? This is more than just someone making the choice to swirl or date outside of their race. Because there's a lot of black women that really don't want to date outside their race. And they're crying out wondering, why doesn't our black men want us? So now they're trying to change the way they look to look like the women they think black men want. They're wearing the weaves and the wigs and they're, uh, uh, changing their body uh, forms and at one time they used to laugh at white women for getting breast implants and butt implants. Now they're like beating the white women getting butt implants and breast implants and trying to lighten their skin. And there's black women that will tell you we're doing that because we, we're trying to uh, please our men. Well, no, why not just be yourself? But that took me off my topic. So Prince Harry is on the road to destruction. And he really can't see it because number one, he's a rebel. And number two, he's got that beast whispering in his ear. And once she's able to sever, the, sever those ties between him and his family, then she's able to do what she wants. And one thing that we really don't hear about is her side of the family. How much influence does her side of the family have over her level of thinking? See, because if she, if things don't go right and they end up divorcing, the way if she takes him out of his comfort zone, out of the royal palace, then they will go by the rules, the laws of Canada or wherever they choose to live. She's going to take him for child support, spousal support, right? She's going to drain him. And then because she's got that royal baby, that's going to be her meal ticket for life. And she don't have to stay with Prince Harry because now, unless they decide to do what happened to Princess Diana. See, she was murdered, right? So Meghan Markle, she's playing a dangerous game. She's influencing him or his mindset or his choices and decisions. And we really don't know the influence that her mother that had also married a white man that is now divorced or whatever happened to her father. I, I don't know, to be honest, I really don't know what happened to her father, but her mom's is single to my knowledge. So, <coughs> excuse me. So her mom is in her ear and there's no telling what other family members are in her ear. So how much influence does her family have with her choices and decisions? Two different mindsets going on here. 
She's got a Californian, an American mindset from California. And look at the condition of California right now. So feedback, tell me what you think. Sometimes a toxic family is good. So if she's trying to get him out of his grandmother's house, there's a reason. And, and maybe the grandmother is getting on her nerves. I don't know. We don't know the insides of that, but that's where he came from. That's what she married into. She's the outsider. And now she's trying, she's starting to take him for a ride of his life. Trying to sever the ties between he and his family. Taking him away from his safe zone. Putting him in the mindset of being financially independent. Away from his family. So there's some witchcraft that's in the works here. That many people can't see. And like I said, we don't hear much about her mother or her side of the family. So she's, I'm sure if she's in touch with her moms, with her other side of the family, she's also being influenced by her family. So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. Until next time. I'm fearless.